Hello Internet! Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I'm Coop52 and this is episode 19. Last time we did the main quest um, where we went into the Utaru's sacred cave. Found out their land god got messed up and we had to put it down. Which is sad. But then we opened up um, this facility behind the sacred cave. Caught Minerva and rebooted Gaia. Hooray! So now we have a base. Like, this is for the rest of the game called the base. Um, and over here is a fabrication area where we can get like the partially completed overrides to complete. And one more thing that I did not show yet. No, I'm not gonna go at the exit. So up here is Gaia. So you can, between quests, come up here and have some talks with Gaia. But the other reason to come up here is this is where the survey drone stuff is. Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. I think I can reconnect some of them already. And it seems like there are more out there. There. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this will show the ones that we've already gotten. And what this does is give you hold on wait for the little thingies to stop thinging I so like you get this one scenes and reactions that's it so that's the plane song one I think nope So we have the No Man's in the Plane Song one. Um, I think this one here is the No Man's Land one. And yes, we have to watch this little shoop 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 thing every time. And that's it. That's literally all the survey drones do. So you can select the background for the dome. And it doesn't even keep the background. That's why I was like, the servo drones are kind of the eh, is collectibles. Anyway, we have some stuff back in Plain Song we can do, but I don't think I'm gonna do that in this episode because some of it, there's some additional content that will unlock after. Are you sure? Um, we do one of these yes. main quests. I think it'll be better this way. After okay. you, Aloy. So this is the door to the remainder of the West. I need to head further West. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by the hunting grounds near Plainsong and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, 
I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. North clan lands. Okay. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. So let's just take a look at the map real quick. So here is I guess the remaining Tanakh lands, and we have a handful more Talnax as you can see. Well that's unknown up here. So our first or closest is here, Ether. We've got tall neck in between. Um, but before we do that, there are several side quests that I would like to accomplish first. So this door on the base, we'll probably be coming back to this one the most. Okay. So. Still cringe on your boots. Right here is a campfire, and for some reason, stop it. When you teleport back to the base, it brings you back to this campfire. Let me take a look at you, stranger. Hello, rumor person. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, there's a tall neck south of here that's been acting twitchy. Something's wrong with it, but I'm not sure what. Might be smart to stay alert if you run into it. Good to know. Why is this wrong with that tall neck? I can override it. I've got nothing to Don't give me useful data on the surrounding you area. Alright, let's see if there's anything. Eh. Eh. Check it out. So this one, this weapon seller will get better weapons as time goes by. Let's see what we've got going on here. So I do believe we can override bristlebacks now. I think. Yep. That was one of the overrides that were not corrupted. And I kind of want to override one. They can override bristlebacks now. Can I write them? Yep. So spoiler alert, we can ride Bristleback. They're one of our mounts. So while we go on, I'll talk about. So in Zero Dawn, all mounts were basically the same, other than how they looked. In Forbidden West, there is different characteristics for each mount. Like you can see, um, Chargers ran fast. Bristlebacks are kind of middle of the road speed wise. But their characteristic is, is that over time they will um, shit out shards, like they drop pods of shards. And I don't know where I'm going. Um, let's 
see. Let's find a spot. Let's go ahead and clear out this rebel outpost. I don't want to go all the way down there to get the tall neck. So, yeah, wrestle bags aren't terribly, terribly fast, but they get you where you need to go. Alright, let's clear out this rubble outpost that's up here. Then the rest will retreat. Frost ammo's not gonna do much. They've got ravagers. I wonder what they used all these machines for. Let's see if there's any other dudes I could pick up. I wish I had Terrorblast arrows. Let's see if I can make my way to that Ravager's path and lay a trap for it. Quietly, 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 sneakily. Traps do I have? Oh, for a fight. Oh. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was real dumb. I probably want to acid it up first before I... Ow. Crap! Ow, ow, ow. There. Damn it. I love those um, 
critical strike and the whatchamacallit strike animations. Those are always fun as hell. I'm on her! Oh! Not anymore, you're not. Oh damn, you survived that. this on the go medium um health potions now i guess technically we are in the end not the end game the mid game all these machines for. Oh god, I'm just walking right by them and they have no clue I'm here. You shouldn't have done that! God, these people are dumb. I am not really. Like they don't hear from behind them the the ruckus. Like I get it's supposed to be silent strike for gameplay purposes, but definitely ain't silent. No stand against Regala. No one. Judging by that armor, I think I know who's in charge. Got a card you once. Fast. And I silent Precise. strike this dude. Let's see if this one's an attack on me too. Oh, you can. Attacks. Not sure what to do with them. I just hold on to them for now. All right, let's explore the little camp. See if there's anything worth taking. Always can use more shards. I don't think there's anything down there. Nope. I don't know why I did that, just because. I rush of air. Alright, I'm not seeing any chests or anything of interest. Unless there was one up here. There's 
Actually, there's some ruins right here. Let's go check those out. I think this is a peccary. We need a, a bone from a peccary. I'll come back here. Yes, past a certain point you'll start seeing peccaries instead of gores. Which I guess, that, I mean, that, that makes sense. So you see all these little sparky, glowy things hanging around? Those are little baubles of shards that our bristleback has shed out for us. Hey, look at him. He's just booped everywhere. I wonder what they used all these machines for. So he's glowing purple, so I believe he's an apex variant. Oh shit. Easy to take down. Yep, apex. Oh no, don't come hang out. I don't want to. I only want to do one of y'all at a time, please. variants, as you can see, have uh, slightly different weaknesses. So, like, a regular Ravager is weak to Acid, this one is weak to Plasma. Anyway, the ruins I wanted to go to are over here. We're just gonna combat roll our way. into the cliff. I wonder what's inside. Yeah. There's some kind of tunnel. I should take a look around. So we can't Another do anything floor. with that yet. I don't think I can get past those vines. Better leave it for now. Okay. So I spy some green shine over here. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. Not much I can do without a way past those vines. I guess I should come back later. Okay, so I guess we can't do this room for right now. Like the other one, it requires a tool we don't have yet. What's over here? Let's go check out this unknown thing. I see the icon for a nest for one of those shell snappers. Okay. We got a something for an upgrade component. I think I see a new kind of machine ahead. Spike snout. So we do need some of their parts for something. They're like little ant eater things. The weak to fire and purge water. Strong versus shock. They generally have acid. On there, and they like to spit acid at you. However, 
I think the part we need is sack webbing from them. And in order to get sack webbing generally. Well the Cyclops joins. Um gotta grab its data to reconnect with the dome back at the base. You have to kill it without doing anything to its sacks. So I'm gonna light it on fire and run away. Yeah, there's some cactus too while I'm at it. I'm here now. Gotcha. Now burn. Oh, if friend knows I'm here too. them both over by that. I know. And now I'm at the side. Hold on, do I have a cleanse potion? No. God, I don't want the turtle involved. Please don't get involved. No. Ah. Ouch. Okay. So I think... Did I get... Yes, I got sack webbing. Sack webbing. Sack webbing of any kind is the most annoying thing to collect. Okay. Let's track the... Servidron. Looks like it may come close. Nope. I think that little platform it was over there. There is where I need to jump on it. Yeah, that looks promising. I hear green shine too. Let's grab that while we're waiting on the thingy. Oh God. Wait a minute, that up there is probably where I need to be. Oh, that's interesting. <coughs> Alright, let's see if I can climb up here without either A, getting blighted to death be angering the damn turtle that's lurking. Okay, more green shine. You're mine. There we go. the drone's data now that it's down. And we're done. Cool. Now I don't want to 
to do that just yet. Let's go see what this unknown thing over here is. I like going around and seeing what all the unknown things are. It's fun. And there's a lizard. Where is my wrestler? This is as fast as this one goes. So not quite as fast as the shark. He ran over something. Oh, it's just another metal flower. rebel encampment of some kind up here. This is... I'm in rebel outpost. This is a pretty big outpost. Full of rebels. Time to find whoever's in charge and take them out. Alright, these are quite a bit higher level than I am, I think. I don't have a bolt blaster yet. I don't think I need that one quite yet. Nope. What are you? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's carry my sm more smoke bombs. That's always good to have. Recover health when using the right, That's nice. Okay. So I think we gotta leave that camp alone for the time being because I don't see it ending well. Yeah, if I remember correctly, that particular camp was difficult. Oh, look! Chili peppers! Alright, on that note... Let's see what this unknown thing is. Allow me to get your salvage. Something sees me, but I don't know what. What is that? Oh. 
looks like I have to climb up this little mountain thingy. Well, this is as high as I can actually climb. I have climb. to jump onto that drone to get it down. Frost is no good here. Nope, this is not going to work. This one may have to wait too. Okay. But while we're up here, we have a new machine type hanging around there. Um, a roller back. So it is kind of like an armadillo or ah, uh, what is it? What are those dinosaurs? Ankylosaurs? They have gravity attacks. Um, you do need some parts like their tails for upgrading stuff. I kind of don't want to take him on right now just yet because they're a little on the high level side for right now. Okay. Let me make my way back up to this campfire and kind of go back to... I might be able to get this. Don't strain yourself. Oh, hi. Well, now they're alert. Invader. Oh god, lady, I just knocked the armor off me. You hurting yet? <laughs> I love Resident Evil Black. Show her your strength! <laughs> behind the sparkling. Ah! I think, actually, I take it back. I think we can actually get to the servo drone now. I think it flies over here. Otherwise, what's the point of this? Ah, oh, no, I see it. I see it, I see it. I never really did the survey drones before, which is why I don't 100% remember how to do some of these. I did like two, and then I was like, oh, screw it, because the reward is just like I said. <laughs> you get to change the picture of the dome. Anyway, where 
is that campfire? No, I don't want to do that there. Let's go a little further south this time. a little bit south because I think there is something we can do to the south of here. I don't know why I had like all the way south south. So let's just go down this road some. like something over here. Is that that rubble camp we just did now? It's an old settlement. I'm gonna have to watch my step. Anyway, let's go say hi. So far, so good. We haven't been eaten yet. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. Hair like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. So we have found our first Tanakh settlement. What's cool about the Tanakh, you can see oops, they all have painted faces and the different clans will use different colors. The, the real battle is arguing with you. With yeah, let's trade. Oops. I had clan potions. There's nothing you require. Well, anyway. Wounded. Let's talk to this dude. What's going on? Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. You killed Greta, Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind to pen it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. Huh, so, um, spoiler alert, we will have to fight a Thunderjaw for this quest. You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. 
Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. That means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. I heard him calling you chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan, fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Hikaru's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Hikaru won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh, that kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert clans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, He'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll meet you there. I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. Yeah, you do that. Okay. So, this is our first real introduction to the Tanakh. You can see, like, there's a lot of spikiness in their aesthetic, and, um, kind of like a military overtone. This will get explained a little bit later. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, I want to go shopping a little bit first before I go meet this dude. Let's see. Go ahead and restock from the stash, too. Oops, I'll walk right past you. Oh no, I don't have anything. I have a bunch of shit to shell now. Shit to sell now, though. God, I can't talk today. I'm less poor than I used to be. Is there a stitcher in this village? No. Let's see if I can borrow their workbench. No. 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 Upgrade that a little bit. Oh, I can actually do this. Hooray! So now I have completely upgraded this. Hooray! And it'll be 
a while yet before I can get any better outfits. But they've got a villa back here. Let's set that as... Okay, they're down here. Let's head down in that direction. a little closer to what's going on over here. Machine strong against frost ammo. And back in the back there we have our old friend the bellow back. They're very similar to how they used to be in Zero Dawn. They have big sacks on their butts that you can pop for extra damage. They have sacks on their chest. However, the thing with Bellowbacks now is that you need the sack webbing for quite a few upgrades. In order to get the sack webbing, like I mentioned with the spike snaps, you cannot pop it. So these sparkers are going to be your best bet to get them down and damaged so that you can actually defeat them. And that antenna now that you can shoot off. Uh, and in the back there, that's just out of scanning range, let's see if I can get closer to scan it, is another old friend. not wanting to scan. There it is! The behemoth! So it's very similar to how it used to be in Zero Dawn. They're weak to acid now. You will need to detach their base thingies, the force loaders, for components for upgrading. I have acid canisters. And other detachable things. And I think they are far more common now than they used to be. Champion killer. Well met. Actually, since the episode's getting a little on the long side, we're going to loot the loot and go save. This will be in my stash when I need it. And then hopefully he can be with me. Wait a minute, where's the campfire? Aloy, over here. Is it up there? Oh, come on. I was promised a campfire over here. Am I just dumb? Oh. I hope my fall. <laughs> As it did not. Oh, here's the campfire. Down the road. Aloy. You're gonna have to wait a minute, my dude. gonna be all for today. Thank y'all for watching and I will see you next time.